Hey everyone! Welcome to my show and tell. Um, this is number 14. I had to look down. And yay! I'm excited! I forgot to bring my calendar in here. I just remember that. But we'll see if I remember everything. <laughs> um, okay, so what's been going on? Um, yeah. Well, on the website or the website. <laughs> on the YouTube channel, um, I put a tutorial up for um, my spiky coasters. I showed them to you on last week's or the last podcast, so two weeks ago. I showed them to you um, and I put a tutorial up for that and then the rest of the time has been me mostly just like in a frenzy. <laughs> um, maybe I'll call maybe I'll call this one in a frenzy because that's what it's been. November is always so crazy and I always overdo it. I always overcommit and yeah. It just stresses me out a little bit, but like it's not bad. Yeah. I just looked at my image and you can see there's like stuff behind me. I'm sorry. It's mm -hmm. I've got like there's a bookcase sitting behind me and um that basket the bookcase is to replace the one over on this wall that broke when we were moving it around from painting and I just haven't moved it over yet and I was gonna do it yesterday before the mail ran <laughs> oops oh well um <laughs> whatever and the basket that's what I keep um my works in progress in like in the living room so I, they're all in a basket well, all of the small things. Anything too big, I don't put it there. Anyway. Okay. Whatever. Ugh. My brain is a little, like, crazy scattered today. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get right into it. And I'll talk about, like, the rest of the stuff that, that's been going on and everything later. Okay? Alright. So, finished objects. I finished a hat. This is just a basic hat. Um, I used Red Heart. Oh no, it's stuck to stuff. Um, there we go. I used Red Heart Team Spirit. There you go. I just left it here. I need to re like finish winding it or whatever. Um, the color is Royal and White, and it's just blue and white. So yeah. Um, I cast on 96 stitches um, using a size 7 needle and then did 2 inches of 2x2 two two ribbing. I had to check. 2x2 two two ribbing um, and then just worked until the hat was like 6.5 or 7 inches long. Did the decreases, just um, the basic increases, and there you go. This is for charity. I think I did show this to you last week. Yes. This was the whip last week or last time. Um, this is the one I cast on when we, when we were going to go to Ikea because I didn't have anything to take with me. But I finished it and I'm going to donate that soon. I got to take it over to the bin with a few other things I've made. Um, and the only other thing I finished this week that counts for this podcast is I've made a doily. <laughs> Um, I put this a picture of this on Instagram. I am crafting with Claudie over on Instagram. My name's Claudie, by the way, if this is the first time you've ever watched uh, my video. Sorry about that. Anyway, <laughs> um, I actually, I just whipped this up for, to, for something, so that basket would have something to sit on. Um, I've got a, in my living room, I have, um, an expedite bookcase, which they don't make anymore. They changed it to like the Kalax or Kalax or whatever. And it's like a little thinner. Anyway, I have the older one in my living room, not the real big one, like the narrow, like the tall skinny one. Um, it's like two by four, I think. And that basket sits on top of that usually. And I just, the bottom of the basket's a little rough, so I 
wanted something for it to sit on. Because I was just using like notebooks, like it was just sitting on paper. But I figured maybe I should make something <laughs> for it to actually go on. So I don't, um, I didn't use a pattern. I did look at a, a few on Ravelry to see like if there was a pattern. And everything was a little bit more complicated than I wanted, to, wanted it to be. So I just started making a circle and I did. Um, if anybody would like a tutorial for that or um, sort of the instructions that I kind of made up in my mind, I can write it down for you. Just let me know um, and I'll do that. But that was finished. Yay! <sighs> Sorry. My hair is still a little wet, so it's kind of uneven. <laughs> All right. Works in progress. Let's show you the stuff that I have shown you before. And then I have one new thing after this. All right. So you guys have seen this. This is the Asunder Shawl by Lisa Much. And I am here. So I've done three of the yarn over sections in this section of yarn overs. What do you think? I think it works. I thought maybe I should have used a, a lighter um, yarn since this does have a lot of pink in it, but I, I like it so I'm gonna keep on. Um, <laughs> I, I do like it, but oh my gosh, sorry, your ears. Um, Anyway, uh, I, uh, I just got distracted thinking about your, your, your drums bursting. Yeah. Oh, I do like this and the pattern is, is, is nice and everything. It's just the actual, oh no, wait, I'm in the fourth yarn over section. I didn't finish it yet. Um, I've done the row of yarn overs, <laughs> but I don't enjoy rows where it's just, yarn over from end to end and that's you know it's not all that this is but there's a lot of yarn overs and so yeah I do like it but I don't think I'll make making another one of these I will finish it maybe not before next time but maybe we'll see <laughs> um I am using let's talk about the yarn I am using um the speckle yarn is Lamy Toes shop um, she has an Etsy shop and the colorway is Bad Egg on her Moon Pie Merino base. And I do love the, I, I love it. I love it. And then the contrasting color, I am using um, Cyborg's Craft Room and her Asaka Light base. And the color is Stepping Stones. And it's very, you can see, so it's some blues and some grays, browns, you know, things like that. So I, I really like it. And I've got, as you can see, some ends to do some stuff with. Super exciting, right? All right. Um, this, oh, I'm using size 7, 4.5 millimeter, um, the Chowgu interchangeables, the red lace ones. I like them a lot. They are my favorites. So that's what I like to use. So I am bending them all over the place. I'll do that later. <laughs> okay, and then I can't remember where I was at last time. I have a, like some uh, stitch markers that have the little, like that are removable. I need to get them out so I can remember to do that. I don't know if I had the heel turn done. The heel turn completed. Heel turn done. <laughs> I don't think I had that done on the last one, but maybe I did. I've got a cat. Okay, I'm back. I had a little kitty interruption. She decided to um, try to get in the closet and that wasn't working. All right, so I have been working on this sock. This is the second sock, um, except for the first one, I have not done the toes yet. I don't know if I had done the heel turn, but I am about... Mm, an inch and a half to two inches from the end of the gusset, which um, if you don't knit socks, so we'll do a little sock anatomy. I am no expert, so 
<laughs> trust me, I'm no expert, but just in case you want to know. So this is, this is called the cuff. This is the, the stretchy part. I guess it doesn't have to be stretchy, but it's stretchy on this one. And then you have the leg. I have a short leg. Um, I, well, I do have short legs, but I, <laughs> um, I made ankle socks. So the leg part isn't very long. Then you, for this type of heel, you have a heel flap. So what it is, is you work this part flat instead of in the round. So you work it flat and then you turn the heel and that's where you sort of do short rows so you can get back to being able to work into the round. And then after that, you do a series of decreases. So can you see this line right there? That's where the decreases are. And that section is called the gussets. Um, and that, you know, basically sort of forms the area where like your heel is supported. And then of course you work the rest of the foot and then the toes. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to, she's excited. I haven't been in here pretty much all this week or all this last week. So <laughs> she's, um, yeah, she's interested anyway. No wonder I was having such trouble showing all the yarn was all like wrapped around the needles. Anyway, I'm using Felici, Knit Fix Felici in Highland, the Highland colorway, which is just um, a series of green stripes. And these are for my mother. Um, like I mentioned, on the, uh, the other sock does not have the toe done because I want to check the length of her foot. Because I, she says that she wears a size 10, but I'm almost positive that she's wore some of my sister's shoes. And my sister has, um, like, I think a nine or nine and a half. So I just need to see what's going on. <sighs> I don't know if you can hear her, but she's like going to town on something <laughs> in the hallway. Um, yeah, so I hope I'm hoping to have these at least to the other, like to the toe by this weekend because I'm hosting early Thanksgiving this year. My mom will be here. So yeah, I'll talk about that later. But yes, I am using Knit Picks 2.25 size one needles. I'm doing two circulars to work in the round, which quite frankly, I enjoy much better than DPNs and depending on the size of the project, better than um, Magic Loop too. So. Alright, oh, the one thing, is this it? Yes. This is the only thing that I have started on that I'm not showing you, but I do think I put a picture on Instagram. Um, this is called Graham by Jennifer Adams, and I don't have a whole lot to show you, but I, um, it's, it's a free pattern over on Ravelry. It's knitted. Um, and what it's what it does is basically you do broken rib, broken rib stitch. So I am through with the um, the band, and then I've just started the broken seed stitch section, and you can barely see it. So yeah, this is supposed to be for my husband. However. I don't know if it's going to be big enough. Um, I can't remember how many stitches you cast on, but I almost always cast on more stitches for his head. And I didn't this time. So this may become a charity hat. Which is fine. Um, I'm, I will finish it. But I'm not yet at the point where, like, I, mean, I could take it off of this and put it on something... Um, where the needle, the, where the stitches wouldn't fall off, but I just can't quite test it yet, and I, I just don't think it's gonna work. I am using Lion Brand Woolies in the Chestnut Heather colorway. So there's the ball, ball band. So it's the sort of rusty brown reddish kind of color 
Um, and of course it's heathered, so it's got little flecks of other stuff, other colors in it too. It's very soft. I like, I really like woolies. I have had, um, there were a couple colorways, I can't remember what they were, but they, they were a little rougher than usual, but this is nice and soft. And I mean, my husband kind of needs hats that, you know, I can just throw in the washing machine. I don't have to hand wash. So yeah, he's kind of tough on them. I keep making them. He keeps wearing them. <laughs> We'll see if it fits him. If not, it'll go um, into the donate pile, which is fine. I did buy two two skeins, which I guess we'll just go ahead and start talking about what I bought this <laughs> this um well, well I can't remember when I bought it this weekend I guess. So I bought two balls of this colorway because I was gonna make him a hat and some um, fingerless gloves. And yeah, so there you go. I bought two skeins of that, and I did buy a bunch of other stuff, which is sitting in that bag right there. But I can't really show you right now because most of it is for a series of videos I'm planning on doing next month. So I mean, I could show it to you, but it's it's just a bunch of random craft supplies I didn't have that I needed. <laughs> so um, I did, however, stop and look at the. Um, Kitty, you it's like so sad, right? She's just so sad. I wish you'd come up here so you could at least see her. Um, but anyway, the Halloween stuff was on clearance, and I went through a couple of the bins because so I was looking for something specific that they didn't have, but they did have this ribbon and it's shiny, so you won't be able to see it. But basically, it's like an open net kind of ribbon with sparklies and it's black and I bought two um, spools of it and I think these were like maybe 40 cents or something they were um you know you know they were on clearance so I bought two of those and I bought this <laughs> um they had it again in the fall clearance section stuff and I just wanted it and it also gave me an idea for something so yeah but I think I'm gonna hang this up when I decorate for Christmas or maybe I'll put it at the front door that might be nice instead of a wreath I don't know the only problem is it's a little scratchy because it's got all these little like loop de loops on it whatever that stuff is um, so you can see it's got like texture on it. And I don't care if it's supposed to be fall, I will put it up in winter. My trees don't have leaves on them, most of them, so it's fine. Okay, um, that is all of the stuff that I bought that I can show you. I mean, the other stuff is just like, I got some paper and, um, what else did I, I don't even know what I else I got, some beads. <laughs> just stuff. Oh, I keep messing with my hair. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bad. All right. Um, oh, I forgot to mention what bags stuff is in. This, the Graham hat is living in my Star Trek bag from um, South Park Creations, who is here on Ravelry. Um, here on Ravelry. She's on Ravelry as well. But here on YouTube, she's Gimme Yarn 418. It's Erin. If you watch me, you probably watch her. So, okay. It's just, it's got Star Trek. There's the, what's that? That's uh, Dr. McCoy. This is from the original series. And while I love Star Trek, I actually am not, um, I don't fangirl over the original series. <laughs> it's not that I think it's like the worst or anything. I just, my, I'm into the next generation. That's the show that was on when I was a kid, so. And then, um, this is in a Kicks and Giggles bag. And my socks are in a Fat Squirrel Fibers bag. There you go. Alright, so that I think might be the quickest I've ever went through what I've been working on. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, 
I'm looking. Okay, so. Oh, have you watched the video, the Stephen West video? He's doing um, a shawl, mystery shawl along. And um, he redoes. Um, it was Katy Perry's Firework. I had to remember the name of the song. I'm pretty sure that's the right song. Um, but he sort of does a parody of that called Baby You're a Knitter. And it's funny. I mean, I know that Stephen West is not everyone's cup of tea. He is quite out there. But, well, when he's his alter ego, Stephen East, he's, he's, um, he's quite out there. But he's, you know, he's obviously got a lot of talent and he knows how to get your attention so there you go if you're not into it you're not into it but I am so I am not doing the the knit along though um just because I have so much stuff to do there's just no way there's just no way I am um doing a I'm cold sorry <laughs> I am doing a um words like, for reals. I can't think today. I am doing a, um, a swap. There we go. A Christmas swap. And, um, and so I've got stuff I'm going to do for that. And then I've got, obviously, the stuff I'm working on. Then I've got video stuff. And then I have the, um, early Thanksgiving, which is where we have Thanksgiving with my, like, my mom and my sister and that side of the family. And, this is the first year that I'm hosting it. We almost always do it at my sister's house because she lives near everyone and I live not near everyone. So they are all coming up here and my house is small, but we'll make it work. <laughs> we'll make it work. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fine. We went to the, I went to the grocery store over the weekend and bought way too much food and I got turkey and everything. I should have brought my gloves in with it, but I've left them in the other room. Um, yeah, so I am really excited about that though. Like, I mean, like I said, it's the first time I've hosted it. When I go, when we go down for, or to my sisters, you know, I usually help, I help cook and all of that stuff too, because I'm there for a couple days, but it's the first time it's at my house. So yeah. And my niece is coming and she's two and I don't have kids. I have cats, so it's cat proof, but it's not baby proofed. <laughs> Some of it's the same stuff, though. Um, so I'm trying to kind of make it comfortable and so where, you know, everyone's gonna not have to like freak out or whatever. Okay, so I had another cat interruption. <laughs> I hope that like if I'm talking to her, that you can hear her because otherwise it's gonna make me think it's gonna make me sound like I'm crazy. Not that I'm not, but, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. So, what else? Oh, did I say I mentioned, I bought all that stuff at Joann's. Did I mention that? Did I mention that? I hope I did. If not, I just mentioned it now. Okay. What else? Um, so I'm doing that, and then my anniversary, my wedding anniversary is next week. And, um, so... My my family is gonna be here this weekend. We're actually gonna get here before then, but um, we're having the early Thanksgiving this weekend, and then I'm and then they're gonna go home, and then we're I think going away. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think we're going away for a couple of days, and then. Um, you know, anniversary, yay. And then we're planning on also doing a couple things in the house. <laughs> and what else? I don't know. Just lots of stuff. Okay, so yeah, I'm just like, you know, there's a reason that I can't think of words and stuff because brain. It's just full of things. And that's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to keep everything straight. But it is a lot, and I've got a lot of stuff I've got to do this month, so that way I don't have to do it next month. And, yeah. I am not doing a lot of gift um, making this year. I am doing some, but not a lot. I I just can't. I just cannot. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah. Let me talk about what should I talk about first. Mm, let's talk about what I've been watching. I haven't really been reading much except like I don't know, just like random stuff that I downloaded. I have no idea. Or not I got it from the library, but I just don't know. I don't even know what it is. Just stuff to read like before I go to bed. But um nothing to really talk about. Um I started watching season 10 of Criminal Minds and I'm not very far into it, so, but it's, this is the season that Jennifer Love Hewitt is on. I actually don't know if she's on the new season because I haven't seen it, but, um, I just, I don't know. I just, I, I like that show. It's, it's one of my favorite shows, but you can clearly see, I can clearly see what the major arc is going to be. I knew it from like the first episode. I was like, okay, this is what's going to happen. And as the episodes have progressed, it's happening. So it's a little, I'm a little, I don't know. I'm not surprised by the, the plot developments, I guess. And so this season isn't as interesting to me as others have been. But I'll stick with it. Maybe by the middle of it, it'll be like riveting and whatever. Um, besides that, I'm watching Archer with my husband. He's been bugging me to watch that show and I just had, I just put it off because it was just a show that I wasn't, he really likes animated shows, not like anime, but he likes, you know, Family Guy and, um, what's the other one? I don't know if he likes The Simpsons or not, but, you know, he, his favorite one is this show called, it used to be on Comedy Central and it was, um, or maybe Adult Swim. It was on. It was on Adult Swim. It was called Home Movies, and the one of the guys that was in that that show is in this show. He's the main guy in the show, and um, so he had been like, "You need to watch it. It's hilarious. You'll love it. You'll love it. Love it." And I just hadn't started it, but then we started it, and I do love it. Except <laughs> the problem is like if you, it can be offensive if if you are not into that kind of humor. So if you check it out, just be warned. Um, but I like it. So. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's everything um, that I wrote down that I needed to talk about or wanted to talk about. Okay, and so now let's talk about what the end of the year is going to look like or what this channel is going to look like until the end of the year. Um, I have... So today, I was like, what's today? The 9th. Okay. So next week, I'm not going to have a video up. Um, as you know, I've put up two whole tutorials recently. So woo. Um, since I have started recording the tutorials again, I had made a plan that I was going to do show and tell the podcast style videos every other week. And then on the alternating weeks, have a tutorial up. But then it's going to be my... Um, it's my anniversary next week and my husband has that week off and also it's the anniversary of my brother's passing and so I'll probably be going to see my dad and I just am not going to be here. <laughs> I'm not going to have time and I just don't have time. So I think I might, I do need to check. I probably shouldn't say that I'm not going to have a video up if I'm not 100% sure because I have some video recorded that... And I'm almost positive I have it edited. What happened, what happened was, is that, um, that's my old computer. That's the computer that I used to use. That's what I record my videos on or what I recorded, and I edited my videos on. And, um, and then I got a new computer and all of that bad stuff that happened last year happened around then. And like, I just kind of shut down a little bit. And therefore, when I started using this computer again, I was like, I'll just deal with it later. I'll deal with it later. And then later turned into like months and months and months. So I really need to sit down and go through that, like the files in there and see what I have. So I'm anticipating no video next week. I'm just going to say no video next week. Just no video next week. Um, and then the week after that, I'm going to be doing a another show and tell. And then... Then, then basically the week after that is December. 
can you believe the time has went so quickly? Um, but I'm going to be doing a series of videos in the early part of December, so I will talk more about that later. I'll probably record like a, a specific video about that, like what's, what's it going to be, but I'll do that when it's a little closer because it's, you know, it's like three weeks out or whatever. And then I will be doing, of course, the show and tells. And um, I don't have my actual calendar, so I'm looking at the one on the computer. Um, I want to do a year-end wrap-up video. The only question I have is if I'll actually record it in December or if I'll wait until January to do it. I don't know. I'll have to see, but I do want to do that kind of. I do want to do that kind of video so I can talk about what happened. I didn't really set resolutions exactly this year, so um, I just kind of want to talk about how things have progressed over the year with regards to what I did want to do and how things ended up. So, yeah. Alrighty, that's all I got going on. And I am going to just go ahead and wrap this up because I feel like I've been talking a long time. Maybe to the cat, maybe to you. I don't know. <laughs> but I will see you all next time. I hope you guys are doing well. And keep it warm. I am stubbornly not turning the heat on. Um, I wanted to make it to November and I did. And now I'm like, let's see how long we can go. <laughs> let's see how long we can go. It's not been too bad. I mean, it's not really been cold, cold or anything in the house. It's been cool, but yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to be good. <laughs> for the environment. It's for the environment. It's not because I'm just like, so I can wear all of the warm things. Let's I'll have an excuse, a reason to bundle up. Um, yeah. <laughs> I did forget to mention, just remind, uh, just reminded myself, I do have another work in progress. And I will show it to you next time because I just didn't, um, I just didn't bring it over. Um, I'm working on a crocheted blanket. I've been working on it forever. Um, but it's been kind of sporadic. I, lately I've just been doing like a row here, a row there. But it's been really nice to work underneath it when it's been kind of cool. So I will show that to you next time. Um, and yeah. Let me know how you guys are doing and leave me comments and like and subscribe and all of that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye.